It's tough to find an elite ball handler who isn't creative. Whether it's with the ball, with how they move, with how they create space. They just have a ton of tools in the toolbox. So this is what we're training here. I'm trying to supply these guys with some tools, not only to help them expand their options, but to encourage them to continue to try new things with the ball. By the way, I won't say too much about it, but if you're looking to train your ball handling with me, check out the virtual academy through the link in the description. Let's get to it. Alright, starting simple. I'm any move I want, probably either between or behind. And instead of just kind of exploding out that way, make a big emphasis on stepping across with it here. So I'm cross. Come to kind of a slow step out across. Yeah, you're still going downhill, like forward. So I'm not here, but I'm boom, downhill off of that. And we'll build off. Let's get it. First group up. Yep, y'all can go whenever. Two, pushing out with the second one. Still stepping across out, yep. Big step across. Yeah. So now I'm one, two, stepping across. Double behind, stepping, oh! Try to cover as much ground as you can off of that. One, two. Orient yourself downhill with it. One. Um, one, two, and instead of exploding out forward with it, I'm yanking it back. So um, one, two, three. Reset it. One, two, three. The full court. I'm just reset it, same thing, I'm one, and bringing it back off of that. So just one move before you even take that next dribble, you're back with it. Just look, just watch. All right, let's do that one more time. The main thing I wanna see is taking out this dribble and just big step out and I'm back with it. Could be same thing with a behind, boom, and I'm back with it. So it's same step, back. Downhill, yeah, there we go, there we go. Yeah. Um, boom, and back with it. So I'm stepping across like we worked on and before I even get a chance to go forward. Instead of going this way, I stop, right? Yeah, pretty much. All right, last one here. Now I'm um, any two moves, so back to the double moves, one, two, snatching it back, and then I raise up, change speeds, any move out of that. So I'm just one, two, and then I'm back into it. So one, two, three, change of speeds, out of it. Similar type thing, but now I'm kind of jumping out either direction and kind of at the same time bringing it back. So I'm, oh, this shit's weird for me too. So I'm trying to see if y'all can get it. It's more of like a hop. Like a, yeah, almost. But yeah, exactly. So set it up with kind of like a, where I've seen this is like, if you're setting a screen, is I'm coming here, I'm like, and going back this way. All right, let's go without your ball right now. Without the ball, you just go in here, look. All right, I'll do it again. It's just like a hop, you're literally landing on both feet. Sideways. Yeah, like a sideways. So, um, boom. And then just kind of feel yourself going back the other way. So now when I do add in the ball, it's like a, Let's try it again. Go on a full court. Just explore it. Everyone's going to do it slightly differently. That's okay. Now open up my legs. Then you, yeah, you would go boom, and that's when you kind of bring it back that way. Yeah. Yeah. It does feel weird. I know. That's the goal. I'm glad you said it. Jumping this way. 
way. Yeah. So you're... Just think about hopping that way. Yeah. Try it. Just do it. Yeah. You have it down. Just be confident with it now. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Moving on. Now I'm going... So the tempo here is fast, slow, fast. So I'm any move I want, fast, slow, fast. And I'm right into fast, slow, fast. Fast, slow, fast. There you go. Big first one. Fast. Think about it as if you're, at least off of this one, off of this spin, literally like falling forward. And you have to catch yourself from falling. So I'm like a fast, slow falling, and then kind of catching myself there. There we go. That's good, King. Fast, slow. Yeah, I'm fast. And from here, you're literally hopping back. So it's similar in the sense that you're one, two, and then out of it here. But instead of kind of pivoting, you're like hop and into it. Full 180 degree turn. There we go. Now you'll go with your partner on this one. So let's say I'm with Manny, you're going, same thing, one, slow, as you're here. All right, I'm gonna step either this way or this way. Don't make it too obvious, but like a little step. Okay. If I, here, then you're shaking back that way. If I go, then you're shaking back that way. The key here is out of this, I don't want you to take like a really wide angle, like me going outside the paint, it here and tight around it. All right, let's do it. So one partner will have a ball for this. Let's try it out. Huh? Yep. Oh, start from right there. Start from right here. There we go. Yes, that's a good angle. My favorite thing to do here is this. As I'm spinning, I'll kind of put it down, and then at this point, either hand can take it with it. I can either go this way, or I can pick it up with this hand and go this way. This yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there we go. All right, stay in your partners. We'll wait for them. Your goal here is to get as far as you can this way off of like an in and out into something. So I'm just one, two. From here, I'm either taking a downhill angle if my partner steps up, so let's say, Manny, you get into that kind of off slow motion. One, two. If I step up, then you're taking an angle back and then going. So it's like that hop, kind of the retreat we worked on. Here, if I step up, it's a quick back and out. If I don't, you're just by. All right, let's try it. Yeah, exactly. Do I go the same way? Yep. If I don't come at you, you just go straight. Yeah, there you go. Cover as much ground as you can. Yep, one more. We'll break up into two, group of two, group of two, group of two, group of three, all right? I'm gonna give you guys three moves. You have to find a different way to do that series of three moves every time. So, we'll I'll just throw one out there. Cross between, or what do you guys, give me three moves. Cross between behind, all right? So, first time you may go cross between behind, straight into whatever you want to get into. I'm not too worried about that. Next time, that one's crossed off the list, so maybe you go cross between, behind. And we're just continuing to go until we pretty much can't think of another way. So it's forcing you to be a little crafty, come up with new ways to do the same thing. Turn behind. Gotta be. And then start to pick up on stuff that they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, like oh shit. Nah. The order can't change, but the style moves. Yeah. There we go. Switching wings. 
Now it'll be competitive. So now, give me three moves. Between, cross, behind. Between, cross, behind. You gotta beat your defender with those three moves every time. Between, cross, behind. So he knows what you're doing. Uh, yeah, you can go shots. You can go shots. However you want to score, it's got to be off between, cross, behind. Oh, he didn't. Hey, real quick, clarification down here. So I saw, I saw them do this, which is funny. He went between, cross, behind, and he's like, all right, bet, I'm going to score. <laughs> yeah. Score off of that move. So it's like a one, two, three, however you want to get into it, obviously, but you have to score off of that move. Yeah. Oh, between cross behind. That's what that order? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up? Oh. So, as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at By Any Means Basketball. And more than anything, just stay tuned for more like this. Let's keep working.